Okay, this is the first of the uh, flies that I'm going to tie for this video. This is the red bloodworm. I'm going to lay some thread in red. Then I'm going to add some wire. This thread is a Danville flat wax nylon. It's 210, 210 denier. This is a really simple fly. I'll just tie this little bit of red wire in. This fly is pretty much mostly thread and a bit of wire. There's not, not much more to it. I'm using a 2.8mm bead head here, but most most times I use a 3.8mm bead head with this. Uh, this catches me a lot of rainbow trout. So you just want to build up your thread, keep building it up. So there's a taper from the back of the fly to the front. Get it close to where you want it. Really simple stuff. Wrap your wire over. All the way up to the head. Secure that in place. A few wraps. You can change direction there to get a better, better result. This is tied on a size 12 jig hook. Right, so that's pretty much it. We changed thread direction, so I'm just gonna put a little hitch in there. Pull that tight. And I'm gonna build it up a bit more around the head. Just one more. The taper there. That's pretty much it. Now, give that a whip finish. There's not much more to it than that. That is it. Now, if you've got UV resin, cover it in UV resin. I don't have UV resin, I'm gonna use some varnish. This just adds to the durability of the fly and gives it, makes it last a little bit longer. Fish tend to tear it apart without this. So, makes it a bit shinier, comes up nice. And you just let that dry, and you've got yourself a little bloodworm, bloodworm jig nymph, which is killer on rainbow trout. Okay, so here's the uh, what I call in the video a pheasant tail nymph, but it's actually not pheasant tail. You can use pheasant tail if you want, and sometimes I do. However, for this one, I'm just going to use brown thread because it's so much more simple. 
and a lot more cost effective than using pheasant tail and I don't find pheasant tail actually makes much difference. So I've got some brown Semperfly uh, 60, sorry, 80 thread and I'm going to tie in my copper wire, medium copper wire from UTC, ultra wire. Got that tied in there. Happy days. Well, I'm going to use some Coke de Leon fibers. Get three out, that's fine. If you can get four, whatever, four, five, three, anywhere in between that. Let's measure it against the hook. Okay, so we want it about that long, as long as the hook. Perfect. Give that a nice wrap. Tie that all the way in, up to the front here. I like simplicity when it comes to flies, and this is a simple fly. It's a lot simpler than um, it's a lot simpler than your pheasant tail, and it, look, to be honest, doesn't make any difference. Makes absolutely no difference. So we'll just build up a bit of thread, and we'll just taper our thread towards the head so we get a nice tapered body. Experiment with your bead sizes. Uh, this is also good in a um, it's also good in a 3.8 mil bead. So we just wrap straight up to the head. And we catch it in. Get it in front and behind. As long as that's secured in there, you're happy. Helicopter it off. Okay. All right, so give that a whip finish. Snip that off. Pretty much it, but we're going to add in some orange thread. We're going to uh, add in our orange 80 thread for the hot spot. If you wanted to stop at this stage, you could. All I do for durability is use some UV resin or some varnish to paint it up. But what I like to do is just get your orange thread. And just wrap it around itself like that a couple of times. And give it a nice hot spot. Snip that there. Your head cement on your thread, super glue, whatever you prefer to use. I actually prefer super glue than what I'm using, but it just turns out that I've run out of super glue. Need a restock. Okay, that varnish went a bit all over the shop, but that's soaked in, that's good. And that is it. It's as simple as that. The beauty of this fly is that it sinks fast. And like I said, I'm just going to give it a varnish. That will just make it a little bit stronger. Gives it a good segmented look and it sinks super fast. I find using feathers and fur and stuff 
um, for this type of fishing. This is a Euro style fly, and you need to you need them to be as streamlined as possible. This is a nice streamlined pattern, um, and it works a treat. Okay, so this is one of the flies I'll use in the um, video. It's it's a jig streamer essentially. Uh, I've had a lot of success with jig streamers in the past, and um, this is one that I use a bit. Uh, I'm just using a. This is a white sixo thread, um, but I'm not too phased on the color. I'm going to color in the. Uh, I'm going to colour it in black at the end there. I've got black thread, but it's uh, it's in uh, 8 and it's just not strong enough. I like these to be a bit stronger. So, start off. Get some thread. Lay down. On your hook. What we want to do is get a bit of black marabou. Don't need a great deal. You want to keep it fairly thin, low profile. Reason being, you want it to sink. Too much marabou will slow down its sink rate. Even this little bit here will slow it down a fair bit. So I'm only putting about that much in. That's enough to give it a good tail. Rightio, and we'll just tie that into our hook. Get one t one wrap on there. Give it a good tight wrap down. You need to with marabou, otherwise it'll spin on you. Okay, we'll get it nice and. Tied in, and we're going to get rid of the um, this excess bit up the front here. Now the next thing I have is some um, Semper Fly. I'm trying to show you that straggle string. This straggle string is in brown. And if you can see it, it's it's brown with a bit of um, sort of like a pearly type flash in it. I'll cut uh, cut off a bit of that, and that's the next thing we'll tie down into that hook. Uh, if you just get that on top, secure that in there. And come forward. Give a few more wraps at the head there. Now, let's just wrap that forward. Give it a little tweaking. On your way forward, okay. So, wrap that in there, in there. We're going to wrap back again, and forward again, give it a bit more of a body. Okay, good. Now we'll tie that off. A couple of wraps in front, another couple behind. Get it nice and secure. Snip off the excess. That's essentially it. And what we do next is we colour in our thread. I don't have any black 6 0. This is just how I make my thread black at the end. So, give it a few more wraps at the head just to cover, cover what we did. Some 
head cement. This is a 3.8 mil copper bead and the hook is a size 12 jig hook. Two, five, five turns there. Snip that off. And that is essentially it. That's what you've got. Um, what you can do if you don't like the length of the tail is you can just rip it off. Just pinch it and rip it. But that's something I tend to decide on the when I'm out on the water. So yeah, this is I use this in uh, sort of towards the end of the video. I fish with two rods. I got my five weight um, with a floating line, and I also fish with my Euro nymphing rod. So I take two rods with me. The reason is, is because I can change over with the five weight. I can change over to a dry fly if they're taking, if I see some fish eating, eating dry flies, uh, and I can also put this on and run it through some of the sort of shallower pools around weed beds and just search out some fish you can swing it around in the current um, you can fish sort of slower sort of pools that aren't moving it really is a good little fly um, so that the reason I fish those two rods is to have that ability to just change up uh, on the spot you, know, you want to fish as much water as you can when you're out fly fishing and some deep pools you're just not going to catch anything unless you get your flies down deep so i use the euro nymph for that um and i use this like i said i use this for um the shallower stuff and fishing into you know little riffles and runs and just sometimes it's it's good for just getting a reactionary strike out of a brown trout rightio let's see what uh we can produce out of this run here. Looks good along this side. Just a matter of getting it out into the current without getting too bogged down by these by the mud here. Yep, got him. Nice fish. Very nice. Oh, he's off. <laughs> oh, well. All right, nearly got him. Got off at the last minute on the little pheasant tail jig nymph. Yep, got him. Very nice. He's a nice fish. Pressure on him. I think he's a it's a rainbow. Took the red nymph, blood worm. Hey, 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 hey. It's got some steam. Wants to get off. And there we have it. Beautiful rainbow trout. Very nice. All right, let's see if we can, it's a bit sticky, but uh, it 
see if we can get a fish out of here. Nice deep drop off there. If I can get it through there without getting it snagged. Well, we'll be laughing. Fish down the back of that pool. I think I just saw the tail of a fish. Yep, got him. Oh, he came up and smashed that. Yes. It's a red nymph again. Very nice. Very nice. Nice rainbow. Check him out. Pretty good. Get him back. Now we're into it. We're onto it now. Struggling a bit there at the start. Jeez. Weren't easy. It weren't easy. He really came after that nymph. <clears throat> See if there's anything else in there cruising around. Maybe something a bit bigger. Yep. Had to be one in there. <laughs> Very nice. Nice rainbow, and he took. He took the top nymph, the orange hotspot. You can see how just drifting, drifting it through. <sighs> Works a treat. He took that. Oh no, sorry, the pheasant tail. Took the pheasant tail. So that's very good. He's not huge. Never about the size. It's about the fun you have doing it. Oh, I can get a hand on him. Yep, there he is. Beautiful fish. That's. Okay, so I reckon there's a bit of a depression down in there where fish could hold. So I'll just try and pop a streamer through there. Yes. I thought there'd be one in this little depression here around the weed beds. And it's a brown. Makes sense. Browns will sit in that sort of stuff. It's only a little fella. Welcome fish. Nonetheless, we love them. 
This is why we do it. There you go, little jig streamer. And turned my day around, little brown trout coming out, wading through and coming out here was a good decision. I know what I want to do. I'm going to get on the edge of this and fish into those willow trees. And I reckon if I was a betting man, that'd produce a fish. I'm hoping at the back of this there'll be some some uh, there'll be some nice fish I reckon just give it a bit of action through there that's somewhere I would think that there would be definitely be a fish there's one there keeps jumping Yes! Nice fish! Ha oh, ha! Oh. I knew there had to be one in there. Oh, that's a cracker. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Got to keep the pressure on him. Oh, he's a beautiful fish. And this rod just handles him. Handles him like a dream. Oh. Just, he's pinned pretty good, but Bubbles hooks, there's always a, he, he's not a, he's not ready to come in yet. He's only just pinned. Come on, Jimmy. Get this bloke in. I'll keep his head down. Keep his head down. Alright. It's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Just trying to get into that current. This is a heavy fish for this. And this rod's handling it so far, but, okay. oh he's chunky, that is a chunky, chunky fish. Oh. Gosh, okay, oh, he's tucked out a bit now. That fly is only just in there. Oh, yes. Look at you, you beast. <laughs> wow. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. Just got to get this, get these forceps into his mouth and get the fly out because it's, it's actually quite, oh, it's coming out. There we go. There we go. Oh, mate. I love catching fish like this. It's just something I absolutely thrive off. I'll just pick him up. There he is. Absolute belter. Beautiful fish. Let's release this guy because he's such a nice fish. Okay. There we go. There you go, mate. Indies off. Look at you, you beast. Back to the depths with you. I was. Just 
it's always good to check your flies and your knots after something like that. So that's a big fish and it can cause dramas. All right, with all that commotion, I don't know if there'd be another fish in here. Oh guys, camera's malfunctioning and I'm hooked into this nice fish. Another big one. Oh, he's a, he's running, he's running for the trees, not the trees. Come on, get out of there. Oh, dude, I think it's another probably six pounder. He took the red bloodworm nymph. That's been a killer today as well. He's not ready to come in yet. He's still got a bit of fight in him. I don't want him out in there. Don't want him out in the current there. Oh. Come here, buddy. Just gonna try and swing him. Swing him into this net. Oh, he's still got a bit of fight. It's just not good enough, GoPro. Can't keep this cam. I've just had a camera malfunction. It's overheating. Just as I caught this guy, another big stonking fish. Just gonna weigh this fish. Six pounds on the banger. Six, six and a bit. Six and a Yes! Oh, another good fish! <laughs> oh. Oh. He's a fighter. Oh, he's not a he's not a huge fish at all, but he's he's just got a lot of fight. Alrighty. Another fish. Felt big. This rod's so sensitive, it's I guess it's just like that. Oh, I'm loving this. Don't want to go home, but I gotta go soon. Yep. Oh, another cracker. Another cracker. <laughs> yes. Oh. This guy's got some energy. Another cracking fish. Dude. He's an acrobat, this one. Dude, this is, this is some good fun fishing. Oh, 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 oh. He's going, he's going. Oh, look at you, you beast. Another nice fish. Uh, 
Another belter. <sighs> Another belter of a fish. What? On <laughs> oh, I was just seriously walking with it in the water. Something picked it up. Nice little fish. What is it? Thought I was snagged. Nice rainbow. See if we can get something out of here. I was on the other side of this before, so. Yep, oh. <laughs> Dropped him. Alright, I think there might be a bit of slack water behind this log here, just ahead of me. If I was a betting man, I'd say there's a fish somewhere between here and here. Let's see if we can get them to take our, our nymphs. Might have to go in just a little bit. Just got to get the right drift. Yep, and there was. And I think it might be a brown trout. It is. Oh, he's off. And I'm in a tree. You bugger. That's alright. They do come off sometimes. It'd be a sacrilege not to throw a throw something in here. I'll let that sink. Got him. <sighs> you ate that. Little jig nymph. I'll try and get this guy off without too much drama. All right, there you go, buddy. And he's off.
Yep. Got him. <sighs> he took it. <sighs> oh, there you go. Ate the jig nymph, little guy. Oh, that's it, eh? They're in there. Huh. A little brown, a little rainbow, I think. Bound to be one in there. Nice shady spot. Beautiful looking. Look at the colours on the young ones. They're just so nice. Oh, I've got to get home now. <laughs> All right, everybody. That is a wrap for me. It's been a great day. Absolute cracker. I um, bought a lot of good fish. A few, a few small ones, but uh, two six-pounders. And... Yeah, I've, I've had a cracking day. I can't complain at all. Most fish were taken on the um, the bloodworm jig nymph. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. I don't know. I don't know what else to call it. Um, find the, the bloodworm always catches me good sized fish. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just a fluke or. But it always catches me some nice fish. I'm very happy. Had a really good day. Um, can't complain at all. Another beautiful rainbow. Thank mm -hmm. you.